Okay, so in the previous chapter, we were looking at uh, a multiple linear regression model and uh, we were interested in uh, the effect of uh, a variable x on uh, variable y. In addition, we may be interested in the effect of uh, another variable xk on this dependent variable y. And essentially what we were interested in uh, knowing was how each of these x variables affects uh, this uh, dependent variable y. And we saw that each of these beta coefficient, it represents uh, that effect. And each of these beta coefficient represents uh, two things. The direction of the relationship between x and y. That is how x and y variable are related. That is when x changes, whether it increases the y variable or it decreases the y variable. And the sign of each of these uh, coefficient, it shows us the direction of this relationship. For example, if beta 1 is positive, it means whenever x1 increases, y increases as well. On the other hand, if beta 1 is negative, it means that if x1 increases, y decreases. And the next component was the magnitude of the relationship. That is how much y will change if x uh, will change by one unit. And again, this beta coefficient shows us how much y will change if x1 will change by one unit. So these are the two things that each of these beta parameter was showing us in the previous uh, chapter. In this chapter, we're going to extend this analysis and we are going to introduce statistical inferences in the framework. So far, we did not talk about that if x changes, whether the change in y is statistically significant or not. And this is essentially what we are going to do in this chapter. We are going to talk about statistical inferences in uh, the regression model. And in particular, we'll talk about hypothesis testing in this chapter. So we'll talk about uh, t-test and f-test in relation to these uh, beta coefficients that I talked about. And uh, these tests will tell us whether the relationship between x1 and y variable is statistically significant or not. And essentially, this beta 1 coefficient will tell us this thing. So we're going to introduce a third component into this uh, analysis. Each beta coefficient, it will not only give us direction and magnitude of the relationship, but it will also tell us about uh, the statistical significance of uh, this relationship. So essentially, this is what we will be doing in this whole chapter. And uh, we'll talk about sampling distribution of these uh, beta coefficients because this uh, sampling distribution will help us uh, test these hypotheses and make uh, statistical inferences using t-test and uh, f-test. Okay, so this is what we are going to do in this chapter. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.